So using AI is academic fraud, right? Well, by that logic, Google is also academic fraud. So let's be real, AI is not cheating, but the way you are using it is. So don't be a dumb ass. Here's actually how to use it right. Look, schools are panicking right now. ChatGPT can write essays for you. They can solve math questions for you. They can generate code for you. So yeah, if you just copy and paste that into your work, then that's academic dishonesty. There's no argument there. But it's not ChatGPT's fault. It's your lazy ass fault, right? The real issue is intent. Are you using AI to learn or to not learn? There's actually a better way to to use it. Let me explain. You use AI to explain concepts that you find it difficult to understand. For example, you don't understand what the heck Shakespeare is saying, so you let the AI dumb it down so you can understand it better. You can use AI to generate practice problems or quiz questions. You learn much faster by testing yourself more than just rereading your notes. You can use it to brainstorm arguments or help outline your essays. You still gotta write it yourself, but now you have a clearer direction. You can use it to double check or find errors, especially for math, code, or arguments, just like having a second brain. You can use it for time management. Let it help you plan a study schedule or break big assignments into steps. AI is not gonna go away. Even professors are using it. Writers, engineers, entrepreneurs, everybody. It's the big 2025 and you need to know how to use it wisely. That is a skill. So yeah, just use it right. Don't get into detention. Don't blame me. It's not my fault. It's yours. And I'll see you in the next video.